Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 53. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for chapter 6, click on the link directly below this video and then scroll way down to the Excel Finance class section. Hey, in this video here, uh, we're going to see how to do journal entries for a bond issued at a premium or a discount. Now, in the last video, number 52, we built an amortization table or an effective uh, interest method amortization table for a bond, premium, or discount. Totally easy if you have Excel. Uh, and we can base our journal entries off of this also. Now, on the day we the corporation issues the bond, let's just go ahead and put 1 slash 1 slash 2010. Cash gets a debit. And the debit amount will be this amount here. We also need to credit bonds payable or whatever they call it. Credit and, oh, it's going to be for the full $1,000 amount. Right? And so, actually, I should probably move this down here. I'm going to um, uh, point to the edge and hold shift and then click down and when I see that gray line I'm going to drop it. That just moves it and shifts that one up. Uh, so debits don't equal credits here, right? You always have a little check off to the side um, and we, we can see visually it doesn't. So we got to plug something here and the plug is a contra... well bonds payable is a liability cash is an astra asset and we have something called discount on bonds payable or whatever you call it something, I'm just going to say discounts on bond payable. And it's actually a contra liability. And it is the difference. I'm going to base it on this calculation over here. I'm going to say uh, minus this. So 1,000 minus this. And if you highlight this and then come down here, you could see it sums up here. Or if you wanted to have your formula off to the side to see. Uh, if the sum of these two, if the sum of these two is equal to this, then dr equals cr. Otherwise, no balance or something like that. Whoops, drive equals drive. It said it's debits equal credit. All right, and so that's on the day you uh, issue the bond. But what about the first um, period when we send out our expense, our coupon payment? I'm actually going to use E date. And I'm going to say E date, there's the starting date, and months later, six. Oh, now I'm going to need to copy this uh, formatting. All right, so what do we do here? Well, we know there's an interest expense. All right, and we're, the interest expense is going to get a debit. But we also need to record the cash out, which is a credit. So I'm going to say cash. And we're also going to have a discounts on bond payable. Now, both of these are going to be credits. So I'm going to highlight those and then indent. The cash, we know what that is. That's the 30 bucks. And actually, we could build this off of our um, uh, amortization table here. Enter. Our discount on bonds payable is going to be this little teeny bit extra, the difference between coupon and uh, rate and yield to market interest rate calculation. Notice when we recorded it originally, that was a contra liability, so it had a debit balance, right? But when we reduce it, we credit it. So now the addition of both of those, and actually we could either do equals SUM, right, of these two, or you could just base it off of the, um, the amortization table here. That is uh, the effective interest rate expense we record on our books. We have the cash out, the discounts on bonds payable. Now let's go do a premium. I'm going to actually copy, copy, come over here. And on this sheet, this was a 13.5 example four. We're still talking about 
uh, discounts and premiums. That's discount and this one's premium. I'm going to click right there and control V. All right, when we issue a bond at a premium, we still have cash debited. And oh, it's going to be for that whole amount there. We're going to have whatever it's called, premium on bonds payable, and our bonds payable. And those are both going to be credits. So I'm going to indent. The bonds payable, that's the, um, the face value. So I'm going to put a minus. And then the difference between these or um, this is on the day we record it. So I'm going to say uh, equals this one plus, because this is a negative, this one. All right, and then debits equal credits. We have our premium on bonds payable and our bonds payable. And this will be amortized over the life of the bond and uh, be included in our interest expense, just like we did with the discount. So now I'm going to do interest, interest expense. We definitely have some cash going out. And we have our premium on bonds payable. Now what's the cash, the cash going out? Actually, let me go ahead and indent. We know what the cash is going out. Just our 30 bucks, right? But our interest expense uh, is going to be less, right? Because we issued it at this um, effective rate, this yield to market that's less. So we're going to have to amortize this. And we do the same thing as we did before. It's that little piece right there. I'm going to record negative of this. Notice when you put a negative, I notice I didn't put an equal sign. But when you enter it, it actually puts the equal sign in. And look at this. We can do our plug, that minus that, because debits have to be equal to credits, right? And we get our 2695, which is exactly what we calculated over here. So the effective interest rate is going to be less uh, each period on your books, even though the cash going out is still this. Um, the recorded interest expense will be a little bit less than that 30 bucks. All right, so those are journal entries for a premium and for a discount based on our amortization table. All right, we'll see you next video.